Pop though, didn't we? I reckon it was Strawberry Switchblade. I love it. When I was at school, the careers officer came into the class and they asked what everyone wanted to do. And it was nurses, people wanted to work in the steelworks. Everybody wanted to do something quite regular. And I said I wanted to be a brain surgeon or a pop star. And the whole classroom laughed. But when I was on top of the pops, I was thinking, I wonder if they're laughing now. <laughs> Strawberry Switchblade consisted of Rose McDowell and Jill Bryson, two best friends who were notorious around Glasgow, more for their outlandish fashion sense than their music. We didn't try to sound like anybody or because we weren't good enough at the time to do that. We'd only just took, picked up the guitars and taught ourselves, so basically we were limited to the chords that we knew. Although the songs were shambolic and very basic, there was this wonderful poppiness that we really liked. Plus, they had a really strong image. Their homemade outfits were responsible for introducing an unlikely fashion phenomenon of polka dots and rara skirts into our wardrobes. I used to want to marry Mickey Mouse when I was little. <laughs> so Minnie Mouse was a big influence. <laughs> it was the mid-80s and there was a real pop scene that you could play to then. It was about Saturday morning TV, it was about kids pop shows, it was about kids pop mags. And they were perfect for it. They had a story to tell, they had a look. They were easy to sell. It was just like a whirlwind, you know, we suddenly we were on top of the pops. With nothing left of you. The Strawberry Switchblade look took the girls straight into the charts and kept them there for over four months. But though the rara skirts and polka dots became a staple of 80s fashion, their chart career went no further. One of the advantages of having a, a, an over-the-top image is that you get noticed very quick. One of the disadvantages is people think, well, been there, got all of that. I think it proved that it burnt itself out too quickly. Jill Bryson retired from the music industry after their brief fling with fame and was last heard of making stained glass artwork. And Rose McDowell went on to work with Primal Scream and her new band Sorrow and is now a grandmother. I was really proud to be part of Strawberry Switchblade and I'm proud of myself that I've managed to do what I dreamed to do when I was a little girl. And I don't think a lot of people get that.